Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Cub Crafters introduces the X-Cub, massive general aviation vandalism in Alaska. The Thunderbirds and the Blue Angels stand down. I'm Brie Cross, it's June 6, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. This is not your father's Super Cub, that's what Cub Crafter says about their new X-Cub. The X-Cub is their first FAA type certificated aircraft. Cub Crafter says their new X-Cub is lighter, faster, and stronger than any aircraft in its category and that it provides a larger payload and greater range which results in a much wider mission profile. Cub Crafters claims the X-Cub offers a cruising speed over 145 miles per hour at 75% power and a useful load of up to 1,084 pounds. It's powered by a 180 horsepower Lycoming O360 that drives a Hartzell Trailblazer constant speed composite propeller. They say they completely re-engineered the ailerons and the way pilots interact with them, and describe the X-Cub by saying the resulting control harmony makes this the most balanced Cub ever. It's claimed the aircraft is designed to give the pilot and passenger the comfort and confidence needed for long cross-country flights, and they offer a special interior with features that sound like they're describing a Lexus luxury automobile. Cub Crafter CEO Jim Richmond says, quote, The X-Cub is not just a new airplane, it's a new platform upon which we can build different configurations to fulfill different missions. On the night of June 1st, someone went up and down the rows of airplanes tied down at Merrill Field in Anchorage, Alaska, slashing the tires on 87 of the airplanes. General aviation travel is vital to the infrastructure in Alaska, and this act of vandalism is being taken very seriously. The aircraft are grounded until new tires can be purchased and installed, and an individual named Chris Palmer has established a GoFundMe page to collect donations to help the owners of the airplanes get them flying again. Palmer wrote in his appeal on the crowdfunding site, quote, Tires for these aircraft can cost thousands of dollars. For some pilots, that may be very hard to swallow. This campaign will offer a way for pilots to get back into the air swiftly and take less of a hit on their pocketbook. A reward is being offered for information that leads to the capture of the perpetrators. After the break, Thunderbirds and Blue Angels are grounded for now. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The unusual coincidence of accidents occurring with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds and the Navy Blue Angels flight demonstration teams on the same day has led to conjecture about what's next for the military exhibition teams. According to the Thunderbirds website, Brigadier General Janine Levitt, 57th Wing Commander, said in part, quote, The cause of the mishap is currently under investigation. The website said that the investigation requires that the demonstration team stand down for an undetermined amount of time. General Levitt said, quote, I have the utmost faith and confidence in the team and their abilities. This stand down is standard procedure to give investigation officials time to gather facts and ensure the continued safe operations of the squadron. As a result of the tragic loss of Marine Captain Jeff Koos, the Navy Blue Angels have also stood down their operation. The Blue Angel team has returned to Naval Air Station Pensacola before beginning an indefinite stand down in order to complete an investigation into the accident and ensure safe operations moving forward. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off of We've all seen videos of airplane landings. Some are good landings and some are not. In this video, you'll see what can only be described as a surreal selfie. Search Sea Ray Ice Landing on YouTube. After these messages, Boeing contracting to maintain UK helicopters.
Bluebird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Boeing has reportedly won a contract with the UK Ministry of Defense for lifetime servicing of 50 Apache helicopters valued at about $3 billion. It's reported a final decision by UK authorities will be made by midsummer of this year. An Allegiant Airlines Airbus A320 out of St. Pete Clearwater Airport turned back about 30 minutes into the flight last week. The problem was a mechanical issue, and this was the second day in a row this particular aircraft had to turn back. Calgary, Canada-based WestJet Encore has signed a firm order for nine Bombardier Q400 turboprops. This transaction will increase WestJet Encore's fleet to 45 Q400 aircraft. Based on the list price for the Q400 aircraft, the transaction is valued at $293 million. The 48th Fighter Wing trained in Norway alongside Norwegian, Swedish and Finnish Air Forces from May 23rd to the 27th during Exercise Arctic Fighter Meet 2016. Seven F-15s from the 492nd and 493rd Fighter Squadron conducted maneuvers to improved combined air operations. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Falcon 9 booster, which landed successfully on a barge in the Atlantic Ocean last Friday, is back in port, leaning somewhat but still upright on the autonomous floating landing pad. The rocket flew last Friday, delivering the TICOM-8 commercial communication satellite into a supersynchronous transfer orbit. But the launch put the Falcon 9 near its design limit for a landing, both in terms of speed and stress on the legs, used to support the booster after touchdown, according to the Associated Press. The issue of the hard landing was also addressed by SpaceX's Elon Musk in a tweet shortly after the landing that said, quote, rocket landing speed was close to design max and used up contingency crush core, hence back and forth motion. SpaceX has now recovered four Falcon 9 boosters, one on dry land at Cape Canaveral and three on the autonomous barge in the ocean. The first booster to be reused may fly later this year, according to SpaceX. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.